Hey guys, what's up? This is Derek with OMG It's Derek.com and today we want to help you guys fix an issue you may be having in Adobe PC. So this all started when I was trying to uh, import some drone footage into Adobe Premiere CC and when I would do so I would get the error message this file has no audio or video streams I of course jumped on to Google and started doing a couple searches trying to figure out what the heck was going on and a lot of people said that I needed to install Apple QuickTime uh, so I went ahead and installed Apple QuickTime and unfortunately that did not fix the issue for me uh, and I noticed in the comments of a lot of these YouTube videos and stuff that a lot of people were saying it did not fix it for them either. So I wanted to share with you guys what ended up actually fixing it for me. So with my particular issue, what actually happened is, and let me open up a video file here. So as you can see, I'm flying my drone and I'm going to go ahead and go towards the end of the clip. When I get to the end of the clip, you can see I landed my drone and I ended up powering off my drone without actually stopping the recording before doing so. So my clip ended abruptly. This is what caused the error for me inside of Adobe Premiere CC. So like I said, I tried doing the quick fix that a lot of people recommended, which is installing Apple QuickTime. And for me, that did absolutely no good. So what I ended up having to do was loading the video up inside of a encoder and transcoding it into a different format or just basically transcoding it back into the same format, which was a .mp4 file, uh, but basically it just made it fresh. So, two ways to do this. Number one, if you have Adobe Premiere CC, uh, you should have Adobe Media Encoder CC installed as well. Uh, and you can actually just go ahead and drag your file right in here, which it'll add to the queue. And then you can actually, you know, save what you want to save. You can uh, adjust the settings if you want to make sure you're getting, you know, exactly the... Uh, the, the file sizes and stuff that you want, the quality that you want to make sure it matches. You can do it just like you would in in, in Premiere if you were exporting the video, as you can see here. Um, and then you just go ahead and hit play and let it re-encode the file. It'll re-encode it, put it on your desktop or wherever you save it, and then you, can, you should be able to load that file into Adobe Premiere CC. If you don't have Adobe a Media Encoder or that doesn't work for you, then another option would be to download a free uh, converting tool uh, like Handbrake. Handbrake is a tool I've been using for years. It works excellent for transcoding files from one you know, format to another, um, and it's completely free and open source. Uh, you can get it from handbrake.fr. And again, you would download that. Um, encode your file and then boom you should be good to go so i hope that helps you guys like i said if the download in apple quicktime doesn't work for you uh try one of those methods you know one of those programs to transcode your file again it can be transcoded right into the exact same format that you started with um and you know i don't know if that guy got you know the guys that i watched if they got lucky with the apple quicktime or if that's a different issue uh, but this specifically was for with my phantom 4 pro when I forgot to actually stop the recording before turning off the unit. All right, I hope that helps, guys. And if uh, it did, do me a huge favor, hit the subscribe button below. Uh, we're always releasing uh, different tech videos, reviews, uh, tutorials, gaming reviews, tutorials, things like that. Um, so yeah, just subscribe. Appreciate it very much. Peace out, guys.